Welcome back to Flick Summary. Today we'll be diving into a film titled Perfume, The Story of a Murderer. Enjoy the recap. The notorious murderer Jean-Baptiste Grenouille is sentenced at the start of the movie. His life story is revealed in flashbacks between the sentence being read and his execution, starting with his abandonment at birth in a French fish market. Grenouille, who was raised in an orphanage, develops into a strangely detached boy with an extraordinary sense of smell. He makes his first delivery to Paris after becoming an adult tanner's apprentice, where he enjoys the city's fresh scents. He concentrates on the aroma of a sweet girl selling plums, startling her with his actions. He covers the girl's mouth to stop her from crying out, unintentionally suffocating her. After realizing that she is dead, he strips her body naked and smells her until the scent fades. After that, Grenouille is plagued by the urge to keep the woman scent alive forever. Grenouille astounds the Italian proprietor Giuseppe Baldini with his ability to create fragrances after delivering something to a perfume shop. He uses new formulas to revive the perfumer's business, and all he asks in return is for Baldini to show him how to turn scents into perfume. All perfumes, according to Baldini, are harmonies of 12 distinct scents, with a potential 13th scent present. He also recounts the discovery of a perfume in an Egyptian tomb. That was so perfect, that the moment the bottle was opened, everyone in the world thought they were in paradise. Grenouille becomes depressed when he learns that some objects, like iron chains and dead animals, cannot be distilled using Baldini's method. After receiving a letter of presentation from Baldini, Grenouille departs for grass to study a different technique. Grenouille discovers he is a cipher and has no scent of his own. While traveling to grass, he decides that perfecting the smell will demonstrate his abilities. Grenouille decides Laura Riches, the innocent daughter of the affluent Antoine Riches, will be his 13th scent and the key component of his ideal perfume. When he first arrives in grass, Grenouille finds work in grass working with perfumes and learning the end flourage technique under Madame Arnulfi and Dominique Druid. He kills a lavender picker and fails in his hot end flourage attempt to extract her scent. After that, he uses the cold end flourage technique on a prostitute and is successful in preserving the woman's scent. During his murderous rampage, Grenouille kills lovely young girls in order to collect their scents. He scatters the women's naked corpses throughout the city to frighten people. Grenouille prepares his assault on Laura after preserving the first 12 cents. A man has confessed to the killings. It is revealed during a sermon against him in the church. Riches doesn't change his mind, so he and his daughter leave the city. The following evening, Grenouille follows her scent to a roadside inn and enters her room covertly. Riches discovers Laura dead in her bed the following morning. Moments after Grenouille completes creating his perfume, soldiers seize him. He uses a drop of the perfume on himself the day of his execution. The crowd watching the execution are in a state of shock. The perfume gives Grenouille the aura of innocence and beauty, and they declare Grenouille to be innocent, before breaking out into a massive orgy. Still persuaded of Grenouille's guilt, Riches threatens him with his sword, before becoming overcome by the aroma and adopting Grenouille as his son. The town eventually comes to its senses and realizes that the murder could not have been committed by the pious Grenouille. Since the victim's clothes and hair were discovered in Druid's backyard, he was found guilty of the murders and hanged. Grenouille has enough perfume to rule the world after escaping grass unscathed, but he has learned that it will prevent him from being able to love or be loved in a normal manner. He returns to Paris after becoming bored with his fruitless search and worn out by life. Grenouille goes back to the fish market where he was born in the city and pours the perfume all over himself. The crowd in the area devours Grenouille after becoming overcome by the scent and thinking that he is an angel. The following morning, all that is left are his clothes and the open perfume bottle from which one last drop of fragrance is released. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.